Uh, I know that there are Barbadians who will say, you know, sometimes the Met Office gets it wrong and therefore we're going to wait and see what is going to happen. And I want to say to you that that is not the approach that we must be taking at this time. Climate change is very, very real and Barbadians need to be prepared. In the same way that you would prepare for anything else, you need to make sure that you prepare for the hurricane season, prepare for this particular storm. Um, if we get excess water, there's likely to be flooding. It therefore means that, you know, you may have some disruption in terms of traffic in terms of being able to get out of your house and therefore it means that you need to go from now go around the house check to see you know if you need to batten down anything around the house check to see if there are any flying objects that may um, may pick up in, in the, the storm winds you can see that there are systems coming behind wrecked so this this discussion in the last few days is not simply about this particular system but it is to send a message to Barbadians that we cannot sit on our laurels any longer just simply say that God is a Bajan God, that the system is not going to hit us or it's going to pass us because we are seeing a different pattern of behavior in the systems coming out of the Atlantic um, and even with all the best intentions and the predictions that the meteorological department can do in the same token they can play God and therefore for Barbadians need to make sure that they pay attention to the messaging that is being put out, out there as well.